My name is Parker de Sebastian. I'm 10 years old. I'm in primary school. I come from Adamawa State. Chased by the reign of Boko Haram terrorists and the infamous bandits in northern Nigeria, Wakwati Sebastian and her entire family relocated to Lagos State, where they hope to start afresh. <laughs> I know, but since we have come to Lagos now, I believe that she would have new experiences that would change her life. We have a very bad situation, that's why I'm in Lagos now. Because we have been attacked by Boko Haram and Esme in my place. This attack has lasted up to five years now, as I'm talking to you. So we have no peace in our villages. We can't go to farm, we can't do anything. And with that family, we can't fit our family. Unable to understand any other language apart from Hausa, the children needed to be enrolled in a school where they can find hope to look beyond their past or prevailing circumstances and dream of a better and brighter future. Mrs. Veronica, a parent with two children in Bridge Academy, is convinced that Bridge is the most appropriate school for the girls. Wakodi and Divine, they are my church members. I work in children department in my church. That is how I got to meet them. I started with, uh, which school are you attending? They told me they are not in school. The father said that he wanted to take them to another school, actually. So, but when, after listening to their story, and felt Bridge would be the best place for them to come. Bridge Nigeria, a network of nursery and primary schools, is not only providing children in underserved communities in Lagos and Oshun states life-changing education, but also offering the platform that puts them on the pathway to future success, irrespective of their socio-economic background. As part of the efforts to overcome such unique challenges faced by Paul Cardi, Bridge uses a teaching and learning approach that involves age-appropriate learning by adapting to a child's level of understanding, identifying the readiness to learn, and then following the best suited method of teaching. Wakwadi is now surrounded with a full-fledged support team at Bridge. The support includes curriculum development and instructional design through learning innovation and interventions by the academics team. Also, the learning and development team provides coaching support and continuous training for teachers to aid effective teaching and learning. The personable approach to teaching and learning used by Bridge has helped the girls cope with the learning loss and transcend their limitations. In their short spell at Bridge, their parents have attested to the improvement and transformation of their daughters. Before the midterm exam, the father came to give a testimony about the younger sister, Paul Kadi, that she has improved drastically in terms of expressing herself, communicating with her, her peer mates. She's free, she has that confidence, unlike when they first came from their northern side, according to their story. I want to appreciate the founder of the bridge, because if they say we have this kind of school in my area now, at least we shall make it more than the way we are now. Because these children, as I'm telling you last time, they stay home a good five years without going to school. But as far as we know bridge, bridge, change my children's life, change my life. It is through education that one can withstand the rigor of facing the challenges of life. As a result of the accelerated learning at Bridge, these children can now aspire to become doctors, engineers, scientists, or whatever they want to be, and look beyond their socio-economic limitations. And this is only possible because of the life-changing education at Bridge.